Hi, welcome to Trading with TK, teaching you to turn ideas into money. We're at www.tradingwithtk.com. And today is Wednesday, April 30th, Fed Day. But it's also my son's birthday. Happy birthday, Mike. <laughs> okay, uh, Fed Day. Uh, I told you it was going to be chaotic and anything could happen, and just about everything did happen. Uh, the market went from total jubilation to total despair in a little about an hour and a half. Now, why they have to have these meetings during trading hours and release this news during the trading hours is beyond me. They, why don't they have these meetings on a Saturday night in a nice hotel, over dinner, and then they can release the news Sunday morning and we'll have the whole entire day Sunday to decipher what the meaning of it is instead of releasing it on a Wednesday afternoon at 2 o'clock in the afternoon to create chaos. Well, this is what we've got to look forward to every single quarter. I guess if they had it, uh, the meetings in the hotel on a weekend, uh, it would take their importance away. So, um, all right, feds, keep up the good work. All right, what do we got for you today? I've got a new idea, new stock for tomorrow, and we'll take a look at the stock we bought today, Right Aid. Uh, I sold the stock for a profit. We'll take a look at that. And also in our final segment, you better stay tuned for that because after today's action, you got to know where these levels are that, that will hold this market together so we can stage another rally. So you want to know where those levels are, and we're going to cover those in our final segment, so hang around for that. But without further ado, our new idea for tomorrow is ADLR. It's a drug company. And in just a moment, I'm going to take a look at its chart. And I'm going to show you how we're going to take this new idea and turn it into some money. I don't go away. I'll be right back. Okay, we're looking at a daily bar chart of ADLR. I'm zoomed out pretty good because I want to give you a, uh, a bigger picture. That's better. I want to give you a bigger picture of what we're looking at here. You can see this... Uh, ascending triangle here from a further distance. I'm going to zoom in in just a moment after I go through the st statistics here. Uh, this is a call on the long side and we'll be looking to buy this stock somewhere around $4.80. It closed I think at $4.83. The ideal spot to buy it is around $4.74. I don't know if we're going to get a chance. We might. We'll have to see what, what, what happens tomorrow. Um, we have a target of $6.60 right up here. Comes off of this old resistance over here. And the stock traded today nine nine hundred and sixty four thousand shares, so it's uh, it pretty liquid. But it can it can get down to days of uh, three or four hundred thousand shares too on a on a really slow day. So, but today it did nine hundred and sixty thousand. Um, and okay, so let's let's uh, zoom out a little bit, and I want to zoom in, I should say, and I want to give you the picture. Okay, the ideal spot to be buying this would be right in here. That's our 475 area. It touched there today and and uh, bounced off of it. But what we have here is we have an ascending triangle working. I'm going to point that out. That's the, uh, the bottom part of the triangle, and that's the top part. So there you have it. That's our ascending triangle. We had a little breakout. I'll pull back the support. This is all support right in here. Then a little mini breakout, and then another test of support, which was right in here. And now we're starting to put in this ascending triangle. It's a pretty powerful formation. It's moving very slowly, but I suspect that once it gets through this old top, it should move pretty quickly towards our target. Now I want to take it. I want to turn it into a three-day chart, and you'll be able to see it a little bit better. There you go. Each bar represents three days just condenses the picture but you can see the ascending triangle much better there so let me recap that that's ADLR it's a call on the long side uh, and we think we can make a dollar eighty to two dollars in the stock so that's it that's our new stock for tomorrow now let's take a look at our old stock that we bought today Rite Aid there it is And you can see uh, our ascending triangle is still intact. As a matter of fact, the stock closed right on the high of the day. Even with all that crazy selling that was going on late in the day, we managed to get a closing high of the day. Okay, so this stock is looking really good. The picture is still intact. We've got a double bottom. And we've got an ascending triangle working. Now let's take a look at the stock we sold. Today, ARRS. 
Now, you know, when I sell these stocks and I post it, that doesn't mean you have to follow along. A lot of times I sell these a little bit earlier than I should, uh, a number of them actually, but, you know, I'm happy with the 20%. But if you think you can squeeze more out of it, then, you know, then stay on board because that's exactly what happened to this. This stock got as high as, uh, I sold most of my stock around 805 and it got as high as like 840, close at 810, but so just because I sell doesn't mean uh, that you have to follow right along. Anyway, uh, it could push higher. That's our target is up here. Uh, but if it would have come down in this area here, I'd probably be an interested buyer again. So that's our that's our nice winner of the day, ARRS. Took about 20% out of that in uh, six trading days. All right, let's take a look at the overall market because, uh, you know, the, the, the market just came completely undone uh, this afternoon after the Feds finished with their whatever they were doing causing chaos is what I think they do each time you know okay um, this is the Dow and I've already got this line in here this is a major support area here and that level is 12,700 now we're going to take a look at it on an hourly chart because there's another support level that's interesting also and that's 12,800. That's our old level from here. Remember this? This level right in here, it sparked this rally to begin with. Well, now we're right back down again. Now, I don't know if this is going to hold yet. I won't know for a couple of hours. I need to see some kind of formation. Something. So it's, there's not enough work over here for me to say it's going to hold. But if this doesn't hold, this certainly will hold. So those are your two levels, 12,800 and 12,700 in the Dow. Now we're going to take a look at the uh, QQQQs for some levels there also. And um, this is a daily chart, and we're going to look at some levels here. This level right here, which is the old breakout price, is just about where the uh, where, where the where the uh, Q's touched late this afternoon. But let's uh, let's turn this into an hourly to see if we can't get a picture of this too. Okay, um, this could be a support area. It is a support area. Whether it holds or not, I, I won't know for a few hours. Same as in the Dow. I'm not going to know for a few hours tomorrow whether or not these are with these areas are going to hold. But if this area does not hold, now this is 47. The number here is 47. And remember, these are not these numbers are not stone walls. These are areas. These are the, the, the stock doesn't get right to that number and then stop on a dime and turn around. It doesn't work that way. They can penetrate it. Look at this declining um, uh, top here and you, and you got a spike through it, yet it, it came right back down again. Even though it is, this remained as a resistance area, you didn't know it at the time. So these, these numbers are not stone walls. They're just areas. And you need to treat them like that. Okay, our next big support area is right below it, and that's 46.50. So we've got 47 and 46.50. Those are our two areas in the QQQs. Let's take a look at the uh, transportation average, because even they got whacked, and they had actually one day reversal too. A lot of a lot of uh, indexes had one day reversals. Key support area right in here. Could this get touched? Yes, I I, I could very easily see this being touched you know tomorrow or the next day and this level here is 5100 right in here but there's another support area working right above that and we're going to go to an hourly to, to show you that and that's right in here this is an hourly chart now this is your 5100 area right in here and now this area here which is 5150 could also hold up as a support but I won't know again for another you know for a little time after the opening tomorrow I'll keep you abreast but I won't know for a while Okay, so that's my view of the market. Uh, we'll be ready for uh, whatever they hand out tomorrow. Uh, one thing I will say, as soon as this pullback is over, we will get another rally and another new recovery high. That's how I see the market. Okay, that's my view. Until tomorrow, this is TK signing off.